Hello and welcome to another episode of the first Feathers and Fangs Creature Feature, a weekly series in which I talk about some of the amazing animals that we get to share this planet with. In this week's Creature Feature, we are going to go big. How big do you ask? Elephants. Elephants are the largest terrestrial animals left on Earth. African bull elephants have been known to tip the scales at nearly 8 tons. Although they can grow to that massive size, elephants start out a little bit smaller, relatively speaking of course. After a gestation period of 22 months, the longest of any animal, female elephants will give birth to a calf ranging anywhere from 200 to 250 pounds. Oh, look at that guy. Isn't he cute? Now, as their bodies grow, elephants need to consume massive amounts of food, sometimes 600 pounds of fruits, vegetables, and other plant matter a day. Elephants have fairly adaptable digestive systems. Not only can they feed on leaves, grass, fruits, and vegetables, they can also eat tree bark and twigs. Not only do elephants have very big appetites, they also have the ability to drink 50 gallons of water in a single sitting. That's enough to fill up a standard sized bathtub. Elephant society is matriarchal, meaning that a dominant female or cow will lead a herd consisting of her daughters, sisters, cousins, aunts, and all of their young. Male elephants stay with the herd until they're about 12 or 13 years old, at which point they are actually driven from the herd by the dominant female. Now these young bulls will often form what's known as bachelor herds, or they might just live solitary lives, only coming into contact with the females during the breeding season. Living in these groups means that elephants need to communicate, and not only do they do so by using their trunks to trumpet, but they can also make low resonant sounds that are too low for human ears to detect. These sounds can travel through the ground up to three miles away, and other elephants will detect these sounds when the vibrations go through their legs all the way up their spines and into their inner ear or cochlear bone. That's pretty darn amazing. Now it's no surprise that elephants are intelligent creatures. In captivity, they can be taught to do just about anything, from helping farmers with their daily chores to being trained to do logging in Southeast Asia, they can even be trained to paint. Elephants are also one of the few animals that can pass what's known as the mirror test. Now what this means is that when an elephant looks in a mirror, it doesn't see the reflection as another individual. It recognizes that what it is looking at is indeed itself. Other animals that have passed the mirror test include dolphins, ravens, great apes, and human toddlers. Not only are elephants extremely intelligent, they are also considered very emotional beings. They are prone to such human emotions as joy and anger and sadness. They can even be sentimental. Elephants have been observed coming across the bones of deceased elephants and stopping and almost appearing to mourn their fallen brethren. Elephants have been a part of human culture for thousands of years. In parts of Africa and Southeast Asia, they have been revered in creation stories as helping to create the world itself. As much as elephants are revered, however, they are facing threats due to things like habitat loss, competition with livestock, and especially poaching for their long ivory tusks. Though illegal in many parts of the world, ivory is still bought and sold in the black market and is the primary cause for the decline in elephant populations. Elephants are being shot and more grotesquely they're being tranquilized as a gunshot would alert the presence of rangers. And while the elephant is still sleeping, the poor creature has its tusks pretty much ripped out of its face. It's not a pretty picture folks, don't google that. However, there is more awareness of this than there ever was and Thanks to support from people all over the world, elephant conservation is growing stronger. If you'd like a little bit of information about the work to, that's being done to help conserve the elephant populations all over the world, check down in the description. I'm going to leave a handy little link for you. I hope you've enjoyed this creature feature, but I want to know, what's your favorite thing about elephants? Go ahead and tell me down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you've had to say. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe by clicking the handy dandy link right there. And if you have any suggestions for future creature features, leave that down in the comments comments as well. For Furs, Feathers, and Fang, this is Zach, and thank you for watching the Elephant Creature Feature.